Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and start working with messaging functionality here in Django Instagram clone. So from the last video, we worked with the comment section and everything worked really fine. If you didn't watch that video, do make sure to check out the playlist. The link will be in the description below. So in this one, we're going to work with messaging in Django. We're going to create a messaging model. We're going to create templates. We're going to create views, URLs, and make sure that everything is working totally fine for messaging. Messaging. So I don't want to waste any more time. Let's just go ahead and get started already. So what we need to do is open up our command prompt or you can open up git cmd whatever or you can even open up PowerShell. So open up git cmd and I'm going to stop the server by hitting ctrl c on my keyboard and i'm just going to clear this out by hitting cls so what i want to do is simply create a new application so i'm going to say python manage.py and i'm going to say start application this one we're going to name it message but i think message in django is already a reserved word so we could use something like um, dm direct message okay let's just say direct message or we could simply just say direct something like that you could you could totally use whatever you want to use let's just say direct okay so with this now it's gonna go ahead and create application and that's pretty much what I need for now I'm just gonna hop back to my code editor and as you can see over here we now have direct so with this now that's what we're gonna use to start um, creating out the functionality that we need okay guys so you open up the direct and now you can see that there is a models.py file over here now i'm just gonna go ahead and clear out all this and let's just start installing some of the things that we need to install right away so firstly um we don't need to install anything actually rather i was supposed to say import so we're gonna say from django.contrib.auth.models um, i want to import user so just like that and let me get rid of this okay so after importing the user the next thing we need to import is max so we're gonna say from django.db.models we want to import max just like that and for now that should be it let's just go ahead and create a new class so i'm gonna say class message and this is gonna take in models dot model just like that and also down here we need to create a foreign key to the user um model that we imported over here so we're gonna say user should be equal to models dot foreign key just like that and we need to pass in the user that we imported and apart from that we also need to pass in on delete should be equal to models dot cascade okay and let's add a related name and it's gonna be let's say user so related name should be equal to user okay so you get it now so what i need to do is just put this in three places and i'm just gonna switch things up over here now the first one is gonna be send out who is sending the message and over here it's gonna be the same thing but what we need to say over here is from user so this is gonna be from the logged in user that's gonna be the sender and this one over here is gonna be the recipient okay as you can see recipient and it's gonna be to user so to the person that's receiving the message this one is from the person that's re receiving the message okay hopefully you guys understand now after this we also need the message body so this one is going to be models dot charfield and we need to pass in a we need to pass in max length firstly to say max length should be equal to or you know what a body can actually contain a whole lot of message so we don't need a text we don't need a chart field rather we need a text field okay and after that we want to keep track of when the messages get sent and all that so i'm going to use models of daytime and we're going to say it's auto now add should be equal to true okay so the last thing we need is to check if a message is read or not so we're going to use this to actually um, display display notifications and and perfectly target active messages and all that so don't worry we we'll to start doing it you would understand more better what it does okay so with this now that's all i want to do now let's define a function that's gonna help us send message so we're gonna call it send message func or you could just say send message whatever you want to name it, it's totally up to you now it needs to take in some parameters now firstly it needs to take in the from user to user and it also needs to take in body okay so you get it 
this is a function that's going to help us send message whenever i will call this function it's going to send a message okay so it's two can three parameter firstly it will be sending the message from a user to a user and also it needs the body so these three parameters will be working with them right now okay so the first thing we need to do after defining send message is to simply go ahead and start working with things so we're going to call this one sender message should be equal to message remember the message that we created over here this is it so this is just a variable you can name this whatever so we'll say message and you open up a parenthesis just like that and in here we can start doing something okay so the first one user should be equal to um from user okay i want to make sure that i'll explain all this to you guys so just follow along when i finish i'm still going to explain to you guys now sender is going to be to user no sender two is going to be from user uh from user and now we need recipient recipient actually this pattern is just so long so i'm just going to copy this one and keep pasting it here so i don't have errors while spelling recipients now recipient is going to be to user and body should be body and we, we also need is red yes we created is red above is red should be equal to is red okay now we need to simply save it and in order to save it what you need to do is okay i think is red is supposed to be true rather not not is red then after this the the next thing we're supposed to do is go ahead and save it and i'm gonna get rid of this white spaces over here I'm going to leave that down there and I'm just going to come over here and say sender underscore message dot save just like that. And after saving this, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and also create another another instance like the sender message that's going to be for the recipient message. OK, so this one should be um, sender sender message function. Let me just add that add um comments so it actually gets clear to you and this one is going to be recipient message function so i'm changing this to recipient change this to an uppercase r get rid of the space and push this down a bit okay so after this i think recipient underscore message should be over here recipient underscore message should be equal to message then user is going to be to user this time around so hopefully you don't understand i know i'm still gonna explain just hold on a sec and sender is gonna be from user okay then what else do we need what else do we need we need we also need body i don't think we need recipients any longer we're gonna get rid of the recipients we need body um okay let's just stick with the recipients but this time around it's gonna be from user okay recipient is gonna be from user body is gonna be to body and this red should be should be left as true if for any reason we don't need this we're still gonna just head back to the model and get rid of it okay so sender underscore message dot save this time around it's gonna be recipient underscore message dot save okay hopefully you guys understand and what we simply need to do is just um come down here and return sender underscore message so return sender underscore message just like this okay guys so we created out the model for the send message um we also need another one that's going to be gets message um i think let's just go ahead and create that one before i start explaining what everything is, is going to be doing okay so i'm going to create exactly something like this but this one is going to be defined get message okay it's going to take in user as a parameter which is just that's just what we need then we also call, need to call users and open up um, the list over there now we also need messages should be equal to message dot objects dot filter dot filter and we need to pass in some things user is going to be equal to user and dot values don't worry i'm still going to explain what all this does and in here we need to pass in recipient okay and also we need to annotate this so we can say annotate and over here we we'll pass in last should be equal to max and we're going to open up a parenthesis and we'll say date just like this then we need to order the message so we're going to say order by open up that and say minus last 
okay so this is simply this one over here is simply gonna get the the last message that the user sent to us and puts that at the top okay but don't worry don't worry i'm still gonna explain this in a more better way so you understand so after this we need to go ahead and run a for loop so i'm gonna say for message in messages okay so for message in messages now what do i want to do with this firstly i want to just simply append um, the user that we created over here so something and that's gonna be users dot append like this i'm gonna open up a, a bracket break it apart and over here i'm gonna open up a coily bracket also and i'm gonna break it apart also now what i need to do is um simply go ahead and append everything that we've got okay so we opened up a, uh, a bracket we opened up a curly bracket hopefully you guys are still following along with what we are doing okay so after this now in here we simply i can just put this curly bracket here so i don't confuse myself you know and this one also i could just not put it there i don't think that's the right place for it it should be somewhere here okay as you can see it's working now get us back a bit now let's go ahead and get started now the first thing we would want to do is simply call a user in a string and we need to also say something like user dot object dot get remember this function is going to help us get messages okay and we want to get a message by pk and over here we should just pass in recipients just like that now we need a comma because as you can see obviously this is a dictionary now after this that has value and pair okay so now after this we also need to call last you remember we did something with last over here so we call last and we just simply need to say message and pass in the last so don't worry you guys are still gonna understand what all these are doing i know for now it feels really really annoying just watching me type out all this code without actually understanding what it's doing don't worry just a sec i'm gonna explain what everything does okay and filter after filtering we need to say user should be equal to user and we also need recipient underscore underscore pk should be equal to message okay and this message is gonna take in recipient in there take note there's gonna be a comma over here is red should now be false okay and we need to count it dot count so we'll be using this for something like notification the counting that we just implemented over there now after this let's let's just return users okay because I think that's the most relevant thing that we could just return now and make sure you're returning this users below the four okay so after this now the next thing we're supposed to do is go ahead and start creating the views.py for it but i want to go i want to explain what this does first so firstly we created a model class take note we imported all this over here now we created a model class and called it message we passed in this values that we, we would want a message to have so user is going to be the logged in user for example destin is logged in and he's the owner of the account is logged in too so that's what user is sender is going to be the person that is sending the message which is also the person that's logged in and recipient is going to be whoever that's receiving the message at the other end which is going to be to the person that's receiving it now i'm going to use related names over here to actually make things more clean and neat so you understand from now you can see from user and to user you understand what it does now body date and is red i'm sure you already know what it does by now so then we define a function that's going to help us send message it's taking three parameters from to and body which we already have over here you remember this this and this now the first one is send message and we called the message that we created over here and assigned some values to it now we say user should be equal to from user notes there is a user over here then we assigned from user to it there is a sender we assigned from user to it again you remember this is it over here there is a recipient we assigned to user to it so a recipient is going to be the message is going to be going out instead then after this we assign body to body and is read you made it true that means a message is already read okay hopefully you understand then we simply save this in our database now coming over to this one 
the recipient's message is very very easy it's exactly the same thing with this what the recipient is gonna see on his own end recipient underscore message okay so that's simply what we did now coming over to the last one which is define get message this function is simply gonna help us get a message and this one is kind of the one that looks a little bit more intimidating but let's just go ahead and break it down now firstly we defined a, a function get message it's took in only users and we defined a users list over here we have nothing in it that's because we later still want to append some things to it after we've written a couple function over here but now let's just go ahead and explain what this function that we just wrote does okay guys so this line over here is going to select all messages of a specific user and of those messages that it's selecting it's going to select the recipient values and the max date so what does this mean this means that let's say karen and john sent a message to destiny so this function over here is going to grab the two messages that was gotten from john and karen and it's going to display it based on the last date that it was sent so let's say karen sent a message 7 30 pm in the evening and two minutes later john sent in his own message and when karen sent in her own message her own message will be at the top you understand because it's the latest message now when john sends a message in two minutes time from when karen sends hers that should be 7 32 p.m now john's message will be at the top and karen's own is going to go down so that's what this is doing it's going to get um rather let's just say it's gonna filter all the messages by the user that's logged in so it's gonna get all the messages of a specific user which is the user that's logged in in this instance and it's also gonna be getting that based on recipient values and max dates so that's simply what it's gonna do and as you can see over here we're ordering it by last and this is what we're using over here as date so we are ordering this by minus last which is going to bring john's message to the top and current's message is gonna go down so after that we simply append something over here we append user the object that gets we are getting the messages pk and we appended it to user last and on rate so you can just see over here what we did was message dot object of filter then we just passed in some some values into here we assigned the user to the user we created over here the assigned recipient pk to message that we just create that we run a loop on over here and we checked if is red is false then we counted it finally we just return the user you know how return and work already in django functions so i think that's gonna be it for this video if for any reason i didn't actually explain it well the way you don't understand then do make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and if you have a question you want to ask me privately just hit me up on instagram or whatsapp wherever i'm all over the places and i hope to help you resolve your issues i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something new in the next video we're gonna go ahead and start working with the views we're gonna write a very simple view that's gonna help users send message okay so i hope i'll see you guys there my love peace out